and I'm a pop surrealist artist. Um, I do paintings and I do graphic novels. So this is some of my art here at Emerald City Comic Con. I started in 1998 when I went to my first San Diego Comic Con and I was floored by what I saw and I just knew that that's what I wanted to do for like the rest of my life. So I started doing comics and I've got several. Um, one of my pride and joys is actually Tampopo, um, which is this comic, which is based on poetry and literature. And each chapter is inspired by a different classic like Faust or Rhyme and Ancient Mariner, also, um, you know, Shakespeare's Richard III. So I'm, uh, I'm, sh I'm showing my, my, car my graphic novel and also my painting books. I've got two volumes. This one has my feminine fauna. It's got my girls with animals, um, which is really a collection of my earlier works. So I, I have this affinity for animals. Um, and then of course, I love steampunk. So I have a book that's dedicated solely to steampunk and I call it Helmet Girls. One of the things that people don't really know about my artwork is that these black and whites are actually paintings. So I work out with acrylics on canvas. Um, so here we go, some more of my paintings. Um, and I absolutely love these Helmet Girls, you know, and they were just born from this, uh, my, I couldn't draw, I couldn't draw goggles, so I just started elaborating on these headpieces and they turn in these amazing headgear and uh, that's the birth of Helmet Girls. Um, and then my most recent project has been a How to Draw book, which is my pop manga. Um, and this one's, this one's, you know, me just teaching people how I draw and I, I'm self-taught in this regard, so all these lessons are just came from me organically. And I've got, you know, the basics, which everybody needs to start from the basics, and then you just break the rules after that, and then you develop your own style. So I've got this book that has, you know, chibis, um, it has expressions, it's got lots of different character art in it. So it's really good if you're a beginner or if you are experienced and you just want to learn how I draw, um, well, that's, that's the book. Um, and so then I've got many paintings and prints that I do as well. I show in galleries all over the world. My next show is actually in New York in the fall. Um, after that, it's in LA. And I've got a piece in uh, Japan right now. So I show internationally and I, I, I love painting. So it's yeah. really great. Yeah. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about your, uh, what inspires you? Uh, what inspirations on how you draw your characters? Yeah. Um, a lot of my art is derived from the Japanese aesthetic. Uh, I'm a huge fan of manga, and it's not just because of the way that they draw eyes. It's also the way they tell stories and they develop their characters. And I feel that when I do a drawing or a painting, I want people to feel a connection to that character and not just in a, oh, she's pretty, but it's like that they're emotive and their eyes are very expressive. So I take from the Japanese the way that they um, embody their characters and, and, and also their storytelling. So that's that's where a lot of my inspiration comes from, and I'm also a huge animal um, aficionado. I like I love animals, and uh, I'm a big animal rights activist. So a lot of my work is uh, I, I bring nature into those elements, and whenever I paint a girl with uh, there's animals involved, it's it's sort of a puzzle. So those animals represent her personality, and I want people to uh, figure out what that means. I don't often tell people what the characters and the animals mean together because art is uh, interpretive. So if somebody sees something, um, I'm not going to correct them because it's just a mirror to whatever's in your subconscious. So um, the, what's in my subconscious isn't in yours. So I, I'll keep my um, I keep the themes very secret uh, so that it's mysterious, you know. And uh, let me see. What else? I'm inspired by literature, which is the birth of Tampa Bow. I'm inspired by artists and life and nature, uh, and and just I guess also mythology. I'm I'm Italian and Canadian, so I draw inspiration from the old masters like Da Vinci and Raffaello. Um, so all of that comes together when I'm painting and creating art. Um, I can see that some of your pieces have uh, uh, integrated. Uh, Miyazaki, a huge fan. 
he's sort of one of the reasons why I got into drawing manga the way that I do. Um, because his characters have so much uh, personality and their stories are, you know, they're children but they have adult storylines and themes and Tokoro is just, he's just so cute. I can't help it. I love Tokoro. Uh, do you intend to um, integrate more, uh, I guess, anime characters in your work? I see a Hello Kitty as well yes. and some My Little Ponies. Um, do you intend to do like things like that um, in your yeah. work in the future? You know, um, being a pop surrealist, that's where the pop comes into the surrealist, is that I use pop culture. So whenever I do paintings of My Little Ponies or Hello Kitty, I'm actually being a part of a gallery show in which Sanrio has allowed people to do their characters. So it's not fan art that I'm creating, it's actually art for these gallery shows. And so I've worked with Disney and Hasbro and WizKids and Sanrio, um, and that's when I do these, uh, even Marceline from uh, Adventure Time. I work with Boom, so I'm li I'm allowed to do these characters, and I I hope I can do more. I mean, I'm really looking forward to doing um, characters from like all sorts of genres. I just did a piece for Game of Thrones, um, and I did Daenerys, you know, Mother of Dragons. I love her, uh, and I'm hoping I can do I don't know, I just uh, as many as I can. You know, I've done pieces for a, a cat Catwoman and. Uh, and Phoenix and Cyclops, so as the more I can do these amazing characters, the, the happier I can be. Where can we find your uh, art? Can we find them online if we cannot attend the shows that you be at? Yeah, my art is available in uh, many locations. A lot of my books are available in Barnes & Noble. Um, a lot of comic book stores carry my artwork. And then you can go to my website, which is camiladurico.com. And you can find me there. I've got an e-store. I've got lots of prints, um, lots of books, and even originals. So. Great.